A union or like a competition for you? Uh, it's a more of a family reunion. I mean, there's not many people here. Yeah, it was a uh, day today, Friday. Mm -hmm. so I think we've got a limited crew so far that have been uh, doing the media rounds. But I did just see Edge. Uh, it's always been about a mentor for me in breakfast. So it was good to see him and catch up. Mm -hmm. What do you think? I mean, I'm from Germany, and in Germany the WWE is on TV as it's never been before, so many hours. And in the US, Fox is bringing WWE to Friday's nights. Yes. So it's popular as never before. Why do you think it is so? Um, I mean, I guess everyone's finally caught up. I mean, I've been obsessed with wrestling since I was a kid. <coughs> Obviously took it so far that now I do it professionally, and it's the only job I've ever had. I'm glad to see the rest of the world is finally caught up. That is the coolest thing in the world. It's awesome that it's getting so much exposure. Yeah. Like you say, moving to Fox is going to be a huge thing for us and more homes. And just the amount of TV deals across the world in different countries. In some countries that I never thought would ever, the WWE would never reach. But the global footprint is so big and it's so cool that everybody is such a big fan and it's huge in Germany. So I've spent some time in Germany with WXW. It's like a, a big place. Uh, Comes to wrestling. You know, the Raw reunion, you were uh, outspoken about the legends that showed up. Just uh, at, when you're going behind the scenes, so when the legends come back, what does it mean for the rest of the roster? It's pretty cool for everybody. I mean, for the ones that have only been there for maybe five, six, seven years or whatever, it's probably the first time meeting a lot of them. But for myself, uh, even though I'm the same age as a lot of the guys and girls, I obviously started younger. I was 21, 22 when I first came to America and was on the roster. So I was with a lot of these people. So it was like a family reunion for me. At this one point, I saw all the Divas together <coughs> from 2007. And we were all catching up and I walked up. And I remember them all being together in 2007. And I asked them what year it was. It was so crazy to see them all together again. And, just to catch up with everybody that I was like 22, 23 last time I was around some of them and now I'm 34. Now 40, like everyone seems to think yeah, I've been around so for so long. <laughs> and like, you know, NXT, you had, when you came back, you went through NXT again and uh, just showed everyone just how great you are in the ring. Now, that experience you had when you were 23, 24 years old and now 34 years old, what do you think uh, you've learned throughout that time for uh, I mean, I've learned so much. <clears throat> um, like when I was that age, was, I was comfortable in the ring, but I guess there was a lot of other things I still had to learn. And I just had to kind of grow up out the ring also, because I was a little bit crazy when I was younger. Um, so the time uh, away from WWE was allowed me to put everything into practice that I'd learned. I really put up or shut up, gave it 100% in the ring and out the ring, in the gym. Um, during media, etc. Just every area of my game I really worked hard on and uh, became the top guy in various companies outside of WWE and proved I could be a top guy, proved I could be a franchise player. And that's why uh, you know, I've got these opportunities since coming back to be NXT champion and lead NXT and coming back to Raw in a more prominent position. Which is pretty cool because I'm just getting started and plan to keep moving up. Seamus did it, when Wade Barrett did it, it was uh, literally like being picked up and dropped in America. Like there was no transition period, it was just such a culture shock uh, to move from the UK straight to America and just quickly try and get acclimated to the American way and the American wrestling style. Now, with uh, you know NXT and NXT UK and uh, various other uh, you know, uh, companies across the world, it's a more seamless process get people ready now like if you're in the UK for example you'll train at the UK Performance Center then you go to NXT and if you're from any other country you go to NXT you'll develop a character there that character will generally move to Raw or Smackdown when I was in FCW in Florida Championship Wrestling you were one character and then they didn't watch the show then they changed your character then they put you on TV then you had to be this new character on the front of the world and NXT the, the world knows your character from the TV show and then it's a more seamless process and everyone's more comfortable. But back in our day, I was supposed to be a model at one point. 
that was going to be my gimmick moving from FCW. They told me I was going to be the runway man and a model, and I lost all this weight and got all lean. And then they told me, no, no, you're just going to be an ass kicker. Just gain the weight back. I go, what? <laughs> And that's pretty much like what happened with me because there was no real rhyme or reason to anything, but now there is, and it makes it easier for the guys and girls to deliver. How much do you think is important to in NXT UK for uh, European wrestling, the younger wrestling? I think it's great. Um, like I say, back in, I hate saying back in my day because I get them before, but back in my day, there was only two wrestling schools in the whole of the UK. And I'm from Scotland, so I used to have to travel 12 hours just to learn to wrestle because there's only those two wrestling schools and now there's a bunch of different wrestling skills you know to get some experience and good wrestling skills but then when the time is right if you're good enough and you work hard enough you get that opportunity to work with NXT UK and you learn like, how it works here on the big stage with the cameras etc but you still get to be close to home so you start working at that next stage and when the time is right then you move to America and you'll be ready I like my generation, like me, sink or swim my generation, and I sunk a few times and had to learn how to swim. <laughs> Look at it is it's 52 weeks a year of TV. So um, and I'm not looking to just jump, jump into the deep end. It's cool that a lot of fans, I appreciate all of the fans that have followed my career, saying, "Oh, Drew should be doing this. Drew should be doing this. We're fighting for the universal title, or whatever." As I appreciate all that, but the way I look at it is, there's a big part of the audience that don't know what I'm about yet. So I like the idea of slowly introducing the character, slowly introducing layers, giving them a little taste of what I can do in the ring, and building that equity with the non-wrestling fans. Like the ones who know, know, I've been around for a while, and you know, this is all I do, and I'm very comfortable in there. But the ones who don't know, I enjoy that long-term build. And when I finally fight for the title, um, it's going to be, you know, it's going to mean something, and everyone's going to know what I'm about. And being around guys like Shane, also, I'm learning all the time, because again, this is all he's ever done his entire life so I get the opportunity to sit under the learning tree while he's also the most paid guy so it's pretty cool to be out there and have to make sure nobody kills him. <laughs>